Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try OJ from Long, Lone Pine. I was going to say Long Pine. Um, double uh, IPA, 8.1% ABV is what is on the can. I think I've had a couple other Lone Pine beers. Uh, fresh squeezed American hops picked are packed into a pure citrus juice box, 0% uh, fruit, uh, never frozen. Um, uh, not from concentrate. So, uh, yeah, so obviously they're using all hops uh, to bring out the citrus that they are saying that's in here. Uh, I paid $3.99 for this one, which I think is a good price. 8.1 is a double IPA. Uh, now, is this going to truly be a double IPA or a double New England IPA? Uh, I guess is the thing. So let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass and see what I think. I tend on, yeah, double New England IPA, but really, what's, uh, I don't really want to say that because to me, uh, double New England IPA is going to be more um, darker, malty in color, uh, more of that uh, light syrup um smells tastes in there where a double new england ipa is going to be citrus fruit bomb something along those lines um off-white colored head about a finger of head color is a little orange a little bit more milky yellow orange you guys are seeing more milky yellow uh, than what i am back here uh it kind of looks like the outline of the orange in the can hopefully you guys can see that but yeah good color again i would go double new england ipa on this one from the color let's go ahead and smell very sweet juicy citrus bomb it smells like there's a little dankness in there uh hoppy dankness maybe from the big dry hop but I would say uh, this smells different than like using um, some kind of concentrate or something like that. Like you can tell from that hoppy smell that it is for the most part, I guess in my opinion, that it is from the hops and it's not from juice. Because it's got that, yeah, that danky hop citrus bomb uh in there and i don't believe you could get that citrus smell from concentrate so smells wonderful let's go ahead and taste good mouthfeel slick maybe oats uh, were used in there. Uh, good body for a double New England IPA. Uh, pretty much all citrus. I mean, it's kind of making my mouth water. Um, the the bitterness in there, it, it's almost like you get that juicy citrus, almost orange juice in there, kind of toned down by the bitterness throughout the whole entire palate. Then at the end, it's like big grapefruit rind bitterness and it just stays there like everything else goes away and it's like okay you're still eating a rind i was actually thinking there was going to be more sweetness in this one uh but i could i i could i guess honestly say yeah, it's from hops because, yeah, the sweetness is there to help balance it out. But the amount of hops that they probably used is humongous. At least perceived bitterness um, is probably 65. I don't know if they show on, tap, on untapped or anything. But that, yeah, that bitterness is up there. But again, like I said, I would rather have mine more bitter than sweeter. Uh, I guess that knocked, pouring the rest of that in there, did knock the color down a little bit. Uh, from what I remember you guys seeing, I would say it's pretty much the same. But for me, it doesn't have that dark orange and going down the center now.
yeah, yeah, that orange, juicy orange throughout with that with that rind, orange rind bitterness throughout the whole entire thing, and then just at the end, it turns into all rind bitterness. Uh, on this one, I would probably have to go 4.25 out of 5. Good. I would buy it again. If you're more into the sweeter New England IPAs, double IPAs, uh, I don't think you'll like this very much. Um, just because the amount of bitterness... Uh, that's in there, but it's still a good one. Let's go ahead and check untapped. Uh, 21 of my friends have uh, checked it in. A 4.2 out of 5. Um, almost 42,000 people have checked it in on untapped. 4.07. I wonder how long this has been out. Okay, per untapped, they're saying Imperial slash Double New England IPA. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, juicy style guidelines. Juicy, citrus, smooth, fruity, dry. Let's see. Uh, so somebody gave it a 3.25 but didn't leave a comment. Um, big citrus. Sharp, yeah, sharp hop character. Yeah, and like I, I was saying at the beginning, you can almost tell... That it is from hops because of that hop character, that that hoppy dankness um, in there. Uh, so refreshing. Uh, Jeff M gave it a four point two five two. Also, I should say, uh, sweet oranges, mild bitterness, and dry finish. Everybody's saying dry. I could see a little dryness. But I just, it, it's almost bad for the person drinking it, but good for Lone Pine because I just want to keep drinking it. Uh, but I guess if it's dry, you're going to want to um, keep drinking it. Uh, yeah, definitely a good one. Uh, there's a lot of reviews on this. If you can find this, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, cheers.